Alright, so I'm going to be showing you guys my full review of Cyanogen Mod 10 Jelly Bro. So let's jump right into settings. See if we go down to about phone. I am running the latest version, Thursday, September 6th. That is what today is. This is the Cyanogen Mod 10 Euroscan version. Let's see them 10. Get their cool little custom Easter egg thingy. <laughs> let's go back. And also, you're running Android 4.1, so we get theirs, of course. So there's many Easter eggs kind of hiding around here. Let's see if you know that. Let's go all the way up to the most kind of main part of Cyanogen Mod 10. This is the interface. But we do also have the advanced settings. Kind of mess with their colors and stuff like that. And then you do have the performance options. I noticed you can't really overclock this with the default kernel. You can only go to, I think, 1.3 gigahertz. Yeah, 1.35 gigahertz. So let's go back. Let's go up to interface. Now launcher, since I have Apex Launcher Pro selected as my default um, launcher, that's what's going to show up under your launcher. If you have Trebuchet, Trebuchet will show up under there. But if you have Nova, that will also show up. So let's go to lock screen. You do have face unlock. Most people ask if they have face unlock. I don't use it because it gets kind of annoying, like at night especially, but you can have a custom wallpaper. You have your battery status, owner info. You can have your weather enabled calendar, and also you can change your shortcuts, which I think is pretty cool. So if you use plume for Twitter like I do, you can, of course, have plume right there. Let's go back one more. This does come with the custom theme chooser. See, so I have a few themes installed so I can always just change between them on the go. Let's go to system for the status bar. You can then change your clock so you, you can have it in the center or you can have a right on the right. Then you have your battery. You can have it as, as a percentage or just as an icon. I like to know how much battery I have so I usually use the percentage. Brightness is controls when you put your thumb on there and hold for a few seconds and then start sliding it. Notification count, of course, if you have more than one Gmail, it'll have the little Gmail icon and the number next to it. The notification drawer, you can choose your buttons. I mainly use the same toggles every time, which is Wi-Fi, data, Bluetooth, GPS, sound, and torch. Yes, the torch toggle does work, by the way. See, I just kind of blinded you. Sorry. Um, you can... Excuse me, you can change your order. You can close the drawer on change, hide the scroll bar, and you can have the haptic feedback. Um, you can change the system wallpaper, font size, and then also the power menu. Power menu is when you press and hold. That's what you get. If you wanted to show the profile switcher, just click that on and just, you know, the profile switcher is there now. I don't really use it, so. Then you also have your navigation bar, which I think is pretty cool because I haven't really seen this in um, Cyanogen Mod yet. So if I wanted to have the search key there, I could have that and then I could just relock it. And then it says search. I don't think it's going to do anything because if you press and hold it anyways, it pulls up Google now. So I'm trying to get that. No, Oh, it was already unlocked. So I'm going to change that to empty. And also, if you wanted that to always show, you can have that as a menu always show. But I'm going to kind of leave it as the auto high because I think that looks better. So let's go back. And that's pretty much it besides your advanced and stuff like that. So let's go back, show you guys the custom wallpapers that are included with this. So go to wallpapers, you have your custom signage mod. There aren't as many as in a. AOKP or anything like that, but they do have their they do have their custom wallpapers. One app that came like if there's a few apps that come with Cyanogen Mod, of course, that's Apollo Music and DSP Manager, and that's pretty much it actually for this ROM. I've been using it for a while now on my Nexus, and I haven't noticed any lag at all. Everything is working. Google Now works just fine. You see it pulls up the weather and stuff like that. 
guys show you let me show you guys the boot animation actually let's go to reboot and then just reboot the phone and I'm just gonna show you guys the boot animation and I made this cool little thingy I don't I don't, I don't know what it is it's supposed to like it's holding my phone let's let's see if it works because it took like 30 minutes to make this just gonna put that right there just oh oh it's holding Sorry, I'm excited because that took like 30 minutes to make. And here is the custom boot animation. Is my phone crooked? My phone looks crooked. I'm afraid to try to fix it. I'll just leave it because I don't want it to fall because that is only a paper clip. So I would try to fix it because I know it's crooked and it's bothering me. But you get the gist of the boot animation, right? But this was my quick little view of Cyanogen Mod 10. I'm going to be doing a few ROM reviews on my Nexus 7. I'm not sure what's going to be my next ROM on this phone because I do love this ROM. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to install next. It may be the official Cyanogen Mod 10 Nightlies. But I may go back to JB Sorcery because they've come out with a new updated version of their ROM. That's not supposed to be... Uh, as boogie as the one I used was that version that I used wasn't supposed to be released so but I'm also going to be doing some reviews on this awesome Nexus 7 tab just gonna look at Mars and then bam out of nowhere kinda but yeah that's oh there's a little number, by the way. Is it? Is it gonna focus? Is it gonna focus? Is it gonna focus? Oh, see, see a little 22 right there by the email. That's the notification count, by the way. Call of this. This game keeps force closing every every day. All I don't even know. I paid like five dollars to get gold inside that game, and they ripped me off and never even gave it to me, and it bothered me, and I just want to die. I hate that game. It's called the mini zombies. Don't even get it. It's a complete rip off, and it it keeps crashing. See there again. I'm not even playing it. Just ah, I hate that game. All right, guys. This was my review of Signage in my 10 and Jelly Bro on the GSM Galaxy Nexus. But this is also available <coughs> on the Sprint and the Verizon version, and also many other phones actually. So just go to his website and check out the raw.